All right, I just arrived. Beautiful Saturday here in Melody Lakes. Let's hop out and walk around the yard for a minute. See if I can get geared up for cleaning that damn kitchen. Let's piss off the dogs. You ready? One, two, three. Just the one. Damn. I tried to talk quietly just in case that's what gets them going. Let's walk in and make sure there's no intruders <laughs> stealing all the good stuff. Maybe somebody intruded and cleaned that damn kitchen. Boy, that would be awesome. All right, if there's anybody in this motherfucker, y'all best get out. Same goddamn window you went in. Hello, motherfuckers. Okay, good. Might be empty. few lights in here. It actually smells remarkably tolerable. Yeah, this is uh this is today's task. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And due to the fact that I'm gonna want to listen to music. I might have to not record everything, uh, record portions of it, and then basically just time lapse it so I can use my phone here to listen to music. Otherwise, I'm not able to listen to music while recording. I've, I think I've picked out some flooring for this place. Pretty decent carpet. And uh, vinyl tiles for the kitchen. As well as vinyl sheet for both of the bathrooms. Um, the bathrooms will have a marble tile appearance with black squares accenting all of the intersections and in here I'm considering uh, a wood tile, a wood pattern tile. And um, if the carpet in these bedrooms isn't too bad, which it doesn't appear to be, We'll be able to cut back on here and put a threshold over this. But I think I'm just going to clean these carpets in here to try to save some money. And also in here. It doesn't really smell awful in these rooms, believe it or not. You know, I think this room is going to need some cleaning up. Oh, well, never mind. There's a tear in the carpet right there, so this room gets replaced. Yeah, it smells in here anyway. I mean, it's not awful, but it doesn't smell good. I don't know whether I should... Yeah, I'm just going to go all the way in through the closet, too. What's another couple of feet? It's going to be kind of nice to have a fireplace. I don't know if that's a... Well, it does not appear to be, I mean, it wouldn't be a gas fireplace. There's no gas out here, so it's got to be a wood fireplace. What's behind here? Whoa, shh. Oh, goodness. Of course, spider web in the face. Is he on me? No, okay. All right, well, you know what? That's too much spider web. One spider web is too much spider web. Let me uh, make it not. Turn on some lights in here, too. 
fan action. Let's turn on these lights. Just turn on all the lights. That's okay, good. Cleaning supplies. Gonna be tapping into that stuff today. Hey, huh? locate my coffee. I'm going to take a stroll. We'll be right back after these messages. Hmm. Thank you to our sponsor, uh, Coffee. Oh yeah, this is so much better without that tree here. Uh, I can't wait to get rid of these guys. It's going to be so much nicer out here. Sunny spot in the morning. Probably put a plant table here or something of that nature. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Thank you, Michelle, for telling me what kind of uh, plant that thing is. So beautiful. And it smells great. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to be great to get rid of these. They used to be really nice from what I understand, but I think I'm going to put gardenias down here. One or two, like maybe a gardenia there and a gardenia there. Right in between where these stumps will be. Looks like the only screen that needs to be repaired is right here. So that's minimal. I am going to have to get these vines here from the fence. They've grown their little tendrils right through. So that will have to be fixed, but really, it's all sealed for the most part. Can keep the flies right inside once I capture them. <laughs> okay. Try to be quiet. Take a walk around the yard. Yeah. This thing's got water weeping out of it. Hopefully it doesn't start growing again really soon before I can get a chance to drill it full of holes and Pour some Epsom salt down in there. That is its remains. There's some clovers in the yard here. I either need a goat or some bees because there's a lot of good honey flowers around here. The goat would trim all this stuff right down. Mini goat. I'm not kidding though. I'm seriously considering a mini goat. We have a farm out here, for God's sake. This is where the all bows out slightly. There is some damage to the brick, right? The block right there. Kind of goes all the way down. I wonder what that's from. Very curious about that. I'm gonna have to maybe repoint those or seal them at least. There's a crack right in that block. Figure something out with that. Ron has turned me on to a new uh, phone application that will allow me to take a photograph of some plants and figure out what they are. I don't know what these guys are, but they're pretty. I think I've seen them up in Michigan, too. But I'll see if I can figure out what those are. <sighs> I didn't bring the saw with me today to do any 
any cutting of like this bush right here so I can try the air conditioner. Um, from what I understand, it probably works, but the previous tenants could not afford to run it, so they just did not run it. Don't know what its actual condition is. And I'm going to trim this guy up. This maple. It's just sort of a tree cluster. Um, I'm just going to trim it up as far as I can reach um, and let it get bushy at the top or something. Let's just see what happens to it. Directly center of where a pool used to be. I've said that like 50 times. I'll never mention it again. Yeah, maybe. We got a hickory growing here. There's a lot of crazy stuff growing around here. Yep. Fuck you, dog. All right. I have added some lights, opened some windows, redirected a hell of a fan. Just bought that at Harbor Freight as well. Moves a lot of air. Pointed right here. So join me, won't you, for the first de spider webification? Yeah, let's let's start with this big massive thing. It's like a it's like a flag waving in the breeze. So we'll thank you for doing your job. There you seem to be full of flies and the such. Alright, I wasn't paying much attention. Sorry for the awful camera angle. Let's see what... Oh. Good Grady. Oh, there's a big spider living in it. Oh. Look at him. See, uh, this is probably his condominium. There he is. I don't know who that is. I don't know if it's alive or not, but yeah, it's um, at least against the wall over there. From what I understand, they're, they're definitely more afraid of us than we are of them, but why don't you prove that shit to me? I don't like them. I don't want them on me. Or near me. What if it's one of those brown recluses or something like that? What do they look like? Ah! Oh. Oh, oh no, that's alive. Okay, um... Shit. Okay, um... Okay, let's let's get this flag. Let's let's get this one. There's a, oh, somebody in that one. Oh. Okay. Boy, this whole corner. so many things that were on the wall here left for people to dust and, and maintain yet they did not. Why didn't they just remove them so that they would not have to maintain them?
Okay. Let's uh, get the spider webs off of this. Okay, I'm done. Alright. Let's move along here. And you know, it's not that I'm afraid of the spiders getting on me or that I don't want to kill the spiders because I, I do want them dead, most certainly. And there are sprays out there that will do that. However, uh, when you spray them or swipe at them or anything of that nature, they tend to just drop right down. <clears throat> so. I try to avoid them altogether so that they don't drop right down upon me or try to escape with a, a web or something like that. I'm not, I don't like that. So, you know, we'll just let them do their thing um, because I will be spraying them whenever I don't have to be underneath of them. I will definitely be eradicating them. I mean, look at that. Uh, you'd think this place was abandoned for so many decades, but it was really just a matter of five or six months or something like that. It wasn't like years. So this was really, this was like this when they were here, for the most part. Especially this. That's right, folks. It's roach feces. Yeah. And it's everywhere. It's right in there. Probably up there. I think I see it. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's unreal. No wonder there's a a proliferation of spiders. But really, I haven't seen a single cockroach here. Not one. Uh, cockroaches seek water they could care less about your food and um, they'll leave if there's no water source so the water was turned off here for a while I do believe the drains have dried out in that time and uh, so if they weren't killed by some sort of spray or something like that, if they were still here when the previous occupants left, then they just evacuated due to lack of water. Because they'll eat a paper bag, they don't care. It's a roach's job. I'm glad. I am ecstatic that they decided to evacuate or have been eradicated. Okay, a little bit more here. There's some right in here. Okay. Okay. Got most of the cans out of the uh, hoarder hole. Relatively certain that that is just going to go right into the garbage. Um, I think I might remove this. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make it a coffee and microwave station. Because that motherfucker's gone. Yeah, there's, there's no way, even after salvaging, that I want to eat out of that. Just, just the, the memory of of this condition turns me right off so yeah I'm gonna just remove it 
um, go get a nice hood range hood they are not expensive they fit right in there that's a standard size fit in there this exhausts to the outside which is I love that I love it oh boy right, let me get some of these spider webs out of here and then I will go and empty this thing here got a couple of them all right Maybe a little bit right there ah, I see why it's there it's just it's like a rope a spider web rope good lord oh yeah like like that helped it was a trap of some sort pest trap bait trap okay well for now that will do I don't see, oh yeah there's a couple of right here in this corner and right in here all right I think what I'm gonna do because the technology I have with just my telephone I don't think I'm going to do any time lapse or anything like that right now. I'm just going to just start recording again and show a little bit more whenever I do some pro have some progress to show. I think we'll start with the island here uh, so that we don't have to well, deal with any of that. And I'll be back in just a few, show you the progress. Alright, here's uh, the first part. Um, look at this. This just goes to prove how bad it actually was in here at one time. These things are simply meant to be indicators, not actual traps per se I mean yeah they'll trap a mouse or something like that but it's really meant to be an indicator of what it is that lives uh, on whatever surface it, it sits so and and to what extent well there you go there you go filled okay so the floor is the same way underneath of there. We're gonna try to get this. All right. We're gonna do it. We're gonna look in there. Mm. Looks like a part of an ice cream maker. There's some other stuff in here. A lot of spiders, a lot of spider webs. There you have it. Ugh. Roach feces, roach feces. Oh, this is like a full drawer of roach feces with a few other things there. Hmm. Roach feces. Plenty of that. Roach feces. I think that's going to be my new merch. Anybody want to buy my YouTube merch? I'll give you a little vial of roach feces. not cheap believe me all right keeping a few things here Crock pot was all right. The 
Let's monitor that. I don't know about that cutting board though. Yeah, that's got to go. I expect that there's going to be a thing for that around here somewhere. If not, those are gone. There's some iron skilletry. And uh, there's some mm, mm, mm. very scary doors there. Let's let's see what's in it. Oh boy. Hear the spider webs tearing. Oh my god. If it weren't for all of that, I might could oh and it smells like roaches in there. Mmm. Smells like what a uh, cricket cage smells like. They're the same kind of disgusting creature. Oh, man, there is a... Ugh. Mm. Good God. That is awful. Okay, well... I'm just going to keep plugging away. In fact, if I keep these, I'm going to have to recover them. Somebody left some rotting potatoes and stuff sitting on them. And they just drained right down onto the floor through mice. Here's what's left of that thing. And the wall. I have gone through every cabinet, put top on everywhere, I'm pretty sure I have removed everything that is absolute garbage, gone through every drawer, through every cabinet, I've saved a lot of things that I want and saved a lot of things for a yard sale. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't looked in this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have. I remember. This is just some dishes. So, yeah, it's going to need a lot of cleaning, cleaning. I have at least figured out uh, what is absolute garbage and what isn't. I've found a lot of great things. Very cool stuff. Um, a whole lot of spiders. So there you have it. No, not quite, but here we go.
Alright, this is the end of day one cleaning in the kitchen. I'll leave everything open, let some air get to stuff. Took a few things from in here as well, threw them out, pieces of clothing. You know, next up is going to be actual cleaning of things. Pretty much everything is going to get put through the dishwasher. Let's hope that thing works. Um, yeah, there's this. And also this to be cleaned. I'll show you where I put everything. Oh, never mind. He heard me. <laughs> well, here is the kitchen and some of the bags that were in the office. It's a little fluffy next door there telling me how happy he is that I'm moving in and cleaning the place up. You're welcome, Fluffy. You're a sweetheart yourself. So yeah, here's a lot of that shit from in there. Alright. Tomorrow starts the big stuff. I think. Wow, these are even more dark violet than they were. I hear a murder of crows over there. I like crows. They let you know everything's all right. Just like those dogs next door, they're really good guys. All right, I love y'all. See you soon.